Hello, you've got a stammer, you've got a stutter and you want to know how to help it. You're in the right place. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Peter. Please subscribe. Please share my videos. Please think about them and discuss them. Okay? I don't want your money, but I want your backing because I'm trying to write a film called James and the Giant's Beach, which is on another YouTube channel. But I know a hell of a lot about stuttering and I care so much about stuttering. Okay, so I used to be a professional stammering coach and then, don't ask, long sad story, but I ended up being a writer. Now, when I worked for the British Health Service or the English Health Service, I was also doing jujitsu at the same time. And the whole, one of the biggest philosophies about the samurai was if somebody takes the time to teach you, you have a responsibility to teach others. So people, therapists, taught me how to be a therapist. A therapist, one person. So I took it very seriously. When I qualified, I felt I had a responsibility to teach the next generation of students. And I took my role very seriously. And two students criticized, not criticized me, but called me the stammering, th the, the samurai therapist. Because the whole point is to teach the next generation. So that's why I produce these videos. Because somebody took the effort to teach me about stuttering and stammering. This is video 10. Now, lots of information has been given in the other nine videos. If you have any questions or you have a particular topic that you want to discuss, like genetics, I've talked about, parents, talked about society talked about but I will talk about more about society and lots of other things but this video is about how to actually help your stammer and your stutter because it is not a physical problem let's get that bullshit out of the way it is not a physical problem so why should it have a physical cure it doesn't Stuttering is a psychological problem brought on by your belief that you cannot have imperfect speech. That's it. That is the one cause. No argument, no debate. There is one cause. When a child starts going k, 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 if they believe through their parents or society that you are not allowed to do k, 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 can I have a drink? they will try to correct it and the stutter will happen. Seen it lots and 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 lots of time. But there was also another lesson that I learned from my time doing Jiu Jitsu. Now I got as far as a second degree black belt, which means I was pretty handy with my arms and legs. Now, the whole beauty of Jiu Jitsu is there are only two tack attacking moves. This is World Jiu Jitsu, not Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. There are only two attacking moves. Jiu Jitsu is about defense and protecting, and that is what Jiu Jitsu means. It is the gentle art. It is a gentle way of protecting and looking after yourself two attacking moves that's it and I must have learned 100 150 techniques it's all about defense now the history of jiu-jitsu is interesting because where it developed was on the battlefield you the samurai had all their armor all their weaponry big bloody swords called a katana but what do you do when you drop your sword you've got all this weaponry on 
and you're up against some you all the armor on and you're up against somebody who's head to foot in armor you cannot possibly attack them you cannot punch them you cannot kick them you punch somebody in armor you're gonna break your fist you're dead you kick somebody you break your foot you're dead so the whole point of jujitsu is using your opponent's weight and momentum to protect yourself and in the same way you deal with stuttering if you try and attack the stutter you give it strength if you try to learn a technique to fight against the stutter you will lose now yeah the techniques may work for a little bit so forcing the words out can I have a drink breathing what are we going to do this weekend they will get the word out but if you've heard the phrase you will win the battle but lose the war and that's exactly what happens because very few of these techniques last for more than two years because every technique to control your speech reinforces the belief that you must not stutter you must not be disfluent you m m m m m m m m must n n n n not to 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 like this so every breathing technique You stutter because you believe you failed. You're doing something bad, you're doing something wrong, but you're a failure when it comes to talking. And every one of those speech techniques reinforces the belief that you must not have imperfect speech. Every breathing technique, you must have perfect speech. Every could you say that again must not have perf imperfect speech they all get in there and say you have to have perfect speech so you can win the battle but you will ultimately lose the war so going back to the samurai you have to use your enemy's strength you have to use your enemy's momentum in order to beat it if you try to beat your stammer with brute force you will lose if you try to use psychology and your opponent your speech you try to use their strengths your speech will improve if you learn to accept that 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 you 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 are 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 allowed to talk like this then your stutter will improve Do you want to win the war or do you want to win the battle? If you want to win the battle, go and pay for some technique that will teach you how to breathe properly. If you want to win the battle, learn how to force your speech out. If you want to win the war, you need to learn how to be in 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 control and use your enemy's strength for your own benefit my next step is 
to try and organise an event where I was better at approximately 200 people on video trying to organise a film crew and I will walk up to people in the street and I will stutter at them on purpose B B B B B B B B B B B B cross my film James and the Giant's Beach is being written to challenge all the bullshit that is on the internet about stuttering because I could continue making these videos but it won't spread the message I saw when the King's speech was made how much of an impact that had only by writing a film will I get to a mass audience oh 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 only 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 by challenging the bullshit will people stop telling their kids to slow down calm down take a deep breath And actually, if somebody laughs at your stutter, if you stop and ask them, and that's funny because you'll realise what an idiot they are because they won't be able to give you a sensible answer. B B B B B B B B B B B What's funny about that? It's funny because. I don't know. I can't see anything or hear anything funny about it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Peter. I'm the Stammering Guru. I'm writing a film called James and the Giant Speech to challenge the bullshit about stuttering. Please share. Please subscribe. Please keep watching. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.